You have a new espresso or bean to cup coffee machine and it came with a water hardness test strip that looks like this. In this video I'll tell you why it's important, show you how to use it and how to interpret the results. Hi, Mark here from WholeLotTheyLove.com. So what the water hardness test strip measures is the level of minerals in the water you will be using in your machine. That's important because harder water, which is water with a higher mineral content, will cause scale to build up faster within your machine. And long term, scale buildup is the number one reason for premature machine failure. If you'd like to see just what scale can do, use the link up here to see a video that takes a look inside espresso machine boilers with various amounts of scale buildup. Now, depending on your machine, you will use the results of the test to determine a descaling schedule. On many super automatic bean to cup machines, the results of the test are entered into the machine and based on that and the use of a water filter, the machine will notify you when it's time to descale. So using the test strip is very easy. Remove it from its package by tearing at the line opposite the four squares. Now, just dip it in the water you will use in your machine for one second, remove from the water and gently shake off any excess water, then lay on a flat surface and after one minute, read the results. Now, reading the results is straightforward. Just count how many red squares and how many green squares. The color change can be a little subtle, but you should be able to see the difference between the red and green squares and count the number of each. The packaging the strip came in has a key for interpreting the results, but with a few words in German there mixed in, it can be a little confusing, so here's a graphic to help out. Four green squares indicates total hardness of less than three, which is extremely soft water. One red square equals a hardness of four to seven, which is very soft water. Two red squares equals seven to 14, which indicates soft water. Three red squares is 14 to 21, indicating hard water. And if all four squares are red, total hardness is greater than 21, indicating very hard water. With the test complete, depending on the machine, you will either enter the results into a menu system, which is typical for super automatics, or use the information to determine descaling maintenance frequency with a semi-automatic. Now, it's very important to keep up with descaling as recommended by the manufacturer. Depending on your water hardness, you can extend the time between descaling maintenance by using an in-tank or outboard water filter as recommended by the manufacturer. In some cases, a proper filter can even eliminate the need to descale completely and you'll get better tasting coffee. Now, if you need a filter or descaling products, use the link up here. At wholelottelove.com, we have them available for most every espresso and bean to cup machine made. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to get more of the good stuff on everything coffee, be sure and subscribe to this channel. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com.